Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another fucking video. Um, it's been a hot minute, but a lot of y'all actually enjoyed the very first one that we filmed. So today we'll be linking up with Dylan Harris. I'll put his TikTok page and Instagram page here so y'all can follow him. He's way fucking bigger than me. If anything, y'all probably <laughs> coming from his page. Uh, I get really weird when fucking people are around, man. Like, I'm still new to this shit. Being an influencer and that, I'm just gonna uh, mind my own business. I'm currently in a growing phase, so I'm a little bit watery, a little bit full. We are currently five weeks in. I'm eating around 3,600 calories, 600 fucking grams of carbs, which is a lot. 200 grams of protein and like 50, 60 grams of fat. Uh, so my fat intake is very low. And no, fat doesn't necessarily make you fat. I just prefer to allocate more of my calories on carbohydrates. Fat. Being in a calorie surplus, that's really the only way to gain weight and store or body fat. For the next couple of weeks, my goal is just to put on as much weight, as much mass as possible whilst maintaining a lean body composition. Um, so I do a bit of freelance modeling. So I try to stay relatively in shape for all that. Today we'll be taking you through a posterior chain day. Today we'll be training the back, but mostly the lats and one hamstring exercise at the very, very end. What's going on, bro? <laughs> Good to see you, brother. Good to finally meet, man. Nice to meet, man. I could tell. got the cameras on. Yeah, yeah awesome. we got the cameras nice going, bro. Nice this is this my brother, bro. Right. So we're just about to start a session. Dylan's just checking out the gym because he's never been here before. We're at King Beats. Fucking hectic gym. Super aesthetic. I don't normally take pre-workout. I try to avoid it. But, you know, times like this, I like to just get a bit of a G up. Shout out to Coach Greg for sending this out. Um, 125 milligrams of caffeine. Sorry, 175 milligrams of caffeine. So it's nothing crazy. Definitely my favorite flavored pre-workout. Tastes fucking great. Um, a lot of other pre-workouts taste like dog shit. And usually, I, again, I try to avoid dry scooping, so I'm just gonna, this is a bit too much water. But yeah, we'll, we'll get we'll get one scoop going. You can double scoop it. I, as I said, I don't really need that much caffeine. Yeah, let me know what you guys think of these longer type of videos, if it's educational, if you find it helpful. And I'll, I'll do more of it, man. I wanna get into the YouTube space, so all your support really does mean a lot. You sure you don't want any, dude? You, you sure you don't want a scoop? Half a scoop? Yeah? Yeah, help yourself, bro. Help yourself. You can dry scoop it if you want, up to you. Tastes like ass, but the good kind of ass. <laughs> tastes like juicy ass. How do you know how that tastes like? Do ass? Maybe. Good flavor? I don't mind Yeah? I've had a lot of different braised by this, so. Most pre workouts taste like shit, but I actually like this one. That's alright. What flavor is it? Um, pink candy. Bro. Pink candy, pink yeah. Candy. <clears throat> Use my code. So they're starting to warm up the rotator cuffs, get some blood flowing. You don't want to get injured. You don't want to throw off your CNS either. So this is slightly different to what we were doing earlier. The previous one was more rotator cuff focused. This kind of helps loosen up the scapula and your shoulder blades. Since we're doing back and we're starting off with neutral grip rows, it just helps you increase your mobility and range of motion and quality of contraction. So it's really good to take your time, warm up, uh, make sure you know the coming exercises and movements you get the most out of it and you're just not wasting your fucking time. So on the way forward, yep, open this up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now go pull back and really squeeze that mid back. Do you feel that right there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that'll just kind of loosen up a little bit. And you'll notice that when we start to do rows, your quality of contraction will be better. You're in good shape, bro. Arms are nice. Arms and delts. You're lean. I'm lean. Very athletic. I got low, I got low butt. Yeah, it's because I do a lot of sports. Bro. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Oh, that is nice. This is a good machine, man. Again, just working on that mobility and prepping the CNS for the coming sets. How did you move the seat? <laughs> what lever did you pull? Oh, here. Okay, yeah, gotcha, yeah, gotcha. Thank you. This equipment's way too high tech. Yeah. I'm used to some old doggy. Bro, this is uh, what happens when you train with a fucking midget. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, you and me in between sets, not tanked yeah. up. Bro. <laughs> fucking like it's takes 10 <laughs> minutes to just adjust everything. Make sure I, I'll make sure I grunt really loud, like, instantly. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> so, full extension of the very bottom. Stretch, stretch, open up, open up more. That's a tall boy, though, bro. Uh, <laughs> tall boy, though. Tall boy problems. Don't exactly. Have those <laughs> yeah, we know. I'm actually sweating, bro. Yeah, yeah I'm, 
I think it's the pre. I reckon it's the pre because yeah, yeah. it. I'm um, tingling. Usually, I track all my lifts, but because we're in a different gym, I can't really document everything. Yeah. Um, just because the pulley systems are different, it's just it's just not the same environment. Yeah. So if you are training with purpose, I try to stay the exact same machines, exact same order as as exact as I can to ensure progressive overload. You know what I mean? So I don't even know if this is heavy, but we'll find out. I'll go heavier. I'm gonna go heavier. The other problem with me is because it's hitting my knees. Yeah, there's perks to being short. Fuck all you guys. <laughs> right in the middle, four. Good. Five. Nice and slow. Nice. Good four, man. Six. Seven. Eleven. One more. And I want you to hold this. Hold the. Slow release. Perfect. Killed it. That was a good set. That was good. Man's face is red. <laughs> That's hard, man. Yeah, no, that was good, bro. Killed it. You know what? With me, I don't do um, back too often. Yeah. It's my most neglected. Oh, dude, me too. That's why I'm hitting it like. I feel like a lot of people neglect back. I think so as well. Right now, there's like a massive niche on TikTok, like the whole back thing. There is. I know some sort of friends, whatever. And they don't do their back, bro. And when they do, they used to have like a limited thing. Yeah. But they got these big ass chest, chest shoulders. shoulders. The yeah, yeah. It's like out of proportion. Yeah. Alrighty, first set, baby. Fuck, man, that was heavy. That was well, fucking heavy. <laughs> yeah, that was heavy, dude. That's the shit part about going to different gyms, cause like, I don't know what my numbers are. Yeah, I'm just kind of going by feel. So this one, we're gonna go lighter and hit 12 to 15. Was that lighter? No, no, no. <laughs> like, <laughs> like next set. So okay. your set, cause you led. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> so get a nice comfortable position. Back's my weakest. Yeah, back is my weakest too, dude. Oh. I'm on the same boat. Says that, but he rocks the whole machine. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice, right in the middle. Open up, good. Squeeze. Good form, man. Keep going. Nice. Come on, Dylan. Fuck yeah. One more. Nice and slow, all form. Keep it clean. Good. That was good. Killed it, man. That's hard, bro. First, first, first that was high, heavy. I don't know how you did those. Yeah. Those bottom ones. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> we are on set number two, 12 to 15 reps. Go a little bit lighter, focus on more control. I'll be honest, my first set was not the best. I didn't feel like I got the best range of motion. The control wasn't the best, the contraction wasn't the best. But as I said, we're not in my home gym, so I don't know what the fuck my baseline or my numbers would be. Um, anyways, let's get into this. <coughs> nice and slow. That's nice. Oh my god. I'm oh, sorry, bro. I'm sweaty as shit. <laughs> With the way I'm currently training, I'm being coached by like an uh, IFBB pro competitor. Uh, so I used to train high volume, high intensity, but we've cut down the sets and really ramped intensity. Yeah. So you can kind of get fucked if executed correctly with two to three sets. But again, it's hard because like, we don't have baselines. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I so you. it's a bit confusing. But yeah, I killed it, bro. Over 100 kilos. <laughs> right, that's why I was struggling. That's why. Men's, you were going heavy, bro. Single arm iliac pull down. So this is a bit of an interesting movement. Yeah. So a lot of people like to do the lat pull down to grow the lats. Yeah. But it's fucking, it's fucking shit for your lats. Yeah. So this one, I'll show you how to do it. It's very nice and light, so just take your time with it. Sit down. Keep your, you no, know, I actually like go kind of neutral, yeah. And I would usually either have my hand or my elbow placed this way, if that makes sense. So find something comfortable for you. And before you actually pull it down, I want you to retract your scapula and really activate the lat. So keep that tense. Now, use your elbow to pull backwards and feel it here. Yeah. I like to have my elbow slightly on an angle to bias the lats a little bit more. So give that a crack. Extend, all full stretch. So even go further out. 
Yep. There you go. That's a stretch. Go in. Yeah. Do you feel that like right here? Yep. Perfect. That's all you want. Everybody's different, man. So just find a nice, comfortable positioning. I think it's a little hard to feel the back part. I think it is. It is. It's because you can't see it. Yeah. You can't see your back, so it's it's very yeah, hard. You can feel it. Good. So you should feel like on the upper portion of the lat. <laughs> Dylan's like, shut the fuck up. I feel this for sure. <laughs> so don't tire yourself out. Just kind of use this set to. I noticed with me, I've got an imbalance in my body. So mm. my left lat and parts of my back are way bigger. Oh, 100%. So right now, like, this hurts here. Yeah. When I'm um, like this side. Yeah. So if you have imbalances, unilateral movements are always the best way to go. Yep. So I do, especially for back and arms, a lot of my exercises are single hand. But everyone's got it, and the heavier yeah. you go with the gym, the more chances. Yeah, 100%. Chances. And if you don't fix it in the beginning, it just it compounds. Just yeah, 100%. So it's good to address it in the very beginning. So as I said, I like to train for like hypertrophy, bodybuilding style. So a lot of the movements may not be very performance based, yeah. but it's really good for isolating and targeting certain muscle groups. There we go. <sighs> this is good, bro, if yeah. you want to put your foot there. I stretch afterwards. I do, in the beginning, I would do <laughs> dynamic stretching. Studies that show that static stretching is just not ideal. Like, it actually leads to more injuries, apparently. So I would warm up doing movements as we did. Afterwards, I would do, like, static holds and shit just to get, loosen up the muscle groups. Make sure the blood's flowing in, doesn't tighten up. And foam yeah. rolling. Fuck, y'all got a foam roll, man. I stretch a lot, but I find, like, I'm so tight from yeah. just doing training. If, when I'm playing basketball or other yeah. things, I get like more yeah, you get my back because I'm building muscle that I don't naturally use in basketball. I'm thinking like the more I train, is there a strategy big bodybuilders use to keep athletic as well? So I go physio once a, once a week, once a fortnight. I do a lot of knee dry needling. It fucking hurts, but it helps you feel so much better. Okay. So maybe do it like once every three weeks, yeah. I would say, yeah. Okay. Do a lot of foam rolling, get like those trigger point bowls. They really help. It also depends where you feel tight. I find a lot of people's lower back. Lower back, upper yeah, back, yeah. and parts of my legs. Yeah, so that's all connected. So usually your lower back is strained or sore because your glutes might not be that strong. So your back will compensate, which is my problem. And your core is not strong. Because what happens is that when you're standing, you'll notice that some people have a pelvic tilt. I do. And yeah, there you go. So when you have a pelvic tilt, your lower back is a lot more activated subconsciously, even during lifts, and it's taking a lot of strain. To loosen that up, you strengthen your core, so it goes from here to there. So we just finished the great arm iliac pull down, and now we're moving on to some reverse grip lat pull downs. We got two sets, the previous exercise was five sets of 15 reps. I think we got one more exercise, and then we're gonna move into some hamstrings. Dylan's looking fucking jacked, man's enjoying the session, and uh, we're gonna get this motherfucker big as fuck. So if too many things are changing at once, how do you know if you're performing better than yesterday? Maybe the pulley system is easier. It's the same way, but pulley system's easier. This machine is different to what I normally do. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Yes. It's hard to bodybuild. I wouldn't say I'm a bodybuilder, but I exist like one because I don't compete. So that's what I struggle with the most. And that's why I don't do this shit often. Like this shit is so fucking uncomfortable. Like it does not feel right. <coughs> Good stuff, right there. Good, good stretch. Good. Good. That's really good contraction, dude. Do you need a spot, bro? Do you want a spot? Yeah. Yeah, let us know if you need a spot, man. That would be great. Yeah, for sure. That's cool. It's hard to bench alone. Yeah, especially because I want to go up weight, you know? But, yeah. But the thing is, without someone to spot me, it's kind yeah. of dangerous. It's hard, dude. Yeah, it's very, very hard. I don't even know what I'm fucking doing, to be honest. Like, I don't know if this is too heavy or too light or... <coughs> forearm went to shits, but... Let's try it. My forearms get really tight on this side. That's the problem. When I fatigue, it's like, uh, it's tight really bad on my right. <coughs> That, that would be about 10 foot. It looks really high for some reason though. Yeah. I can get it, but... Yeah, if I had good shoes on, easy, you know what I mean? <laughs> Frank, what's your... Frank, Dylan, nice to meet you. I've never seen you guys around here. First time. I've never come here in my life. Yeah, I'm from like Hurstville. 
So now we're moving into, oh fuck, I forgot the technical term for this. I just call it neutral grip lat pull down. It is called lat pull down, uh, medium and neutral grip. Yep. We're gonna be targeting, again, the lats. Today is very lat. I don't know what fucking weight I'm gonna do, so I'm just gonna chuck some random shit. <sighs> nice and slow. That was good. So our goal is to bias this part of our lats. There you go, right, good, perfect, nailed it. Good stretch, focus, squeeze, nice. Good form, dude. Heavy too. Let's go. Nice. <sighs> Killing it, man, come on. What are you on? Nice. Is my right forearm tense is really hard? Yeah. Um, I gotta get that stretched. I need to go physio. Yeah, yeah, physio. I have a forearm injury as well. This one's constantly tight. What I do is I don't, I try not to grip too much. Yeah, yeah I, mean, I just yeah. kind of let, yeah, yeah, yeah me too. But it's good to build your forearms, like. Let's go, Dylan. All right, so we're pretty much done with back. We're just gonna throw in some biceps. We're gonna sack off hamstring curls because I do not have the fucking concentration to do that right now. Um, since this one exercise intensity is very very high um, and I'm just not in the right environment for it and I'm way off program anyways so I don't really give a fuck. Um, so we're just gonna finish up with some preacher curls. I like to do them individually. Again I don't know what, what weight I'm supposed to be using so we're gonna just be playing around. The reason I like to do it individually is because my left one is actually fairly smaller than my right biceps. For the people that struggle to build a symmetrical physique, unilateral movements are definitely the way to go. And control is always a lot more important than weight. As you can see, my, you can even see my fibers actually like ripple and recruit. Nice and slow. I don't even know what fucking rep I'm on. I'm just gonna say eight. Another tip that I would say is if you are weaker on your left, for example, always start with your left arm. Don't do what I just did. I'm not gonna lie, I don't like the setup of this. It feels fucking weird. It doesn't feel right. It's very down. It is, it is. So the target is a short head, so the inside. So this kind of helps build the thickness of the bicep. Fuck, come here, come here. This motherfucker's lean, man. Look at that. Oof. Look at the ripple. Look at the fiber recruitment. That's it. Dude, you are low body fat. That's some good activation. That's it. Good control. Good stretch as well. You got it. Good stuff, Dylan. You got it, you got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. Nice. Killed it, bro. That was a fucking good set. That was good. I think when I do single arm stuff, when you go to the second one, isn't there a reason why it's weaker? Like yeah, because I mean, your body's really fatigued, right? Yeah, yeah. Fast, yeah. So that's why we're showing my left one. Because the moment I started it, just bro, like... Unilateral, like, split squats. Do you know what split squats are? Oh. It's Not like really. When you, you know these, the movement where you put your leg up? Oh, of course, of course, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. When you do the second one, it's fucked. I know, I know, I know. So fucking shit. That was a fucking grinder. Jesus Christ. I don't really like this specific machine. I like this movement, but it's, it's a bit awkward. Like the tension, the distribution of tension is just not where it typically would be. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Easy, easy. <sighs> oh. So we just finished up training, having post-workout feed. We got some fucking pasta and chicken breast. It is so bland, literally barbecue sauce, pan fried chicken. Dylan's having, oh, what are you eating? So, complete opposite, full of flavor, pan fried sauce. <laughs> you know, it's a cheat day. Cheat like, day, baby. Yeah, wow, look at that. Pretty tired, not gonna lie. How do you find it? Honestly, um, I was saying to Alex before, like, I don't train back. Doing a good back session is really refreshing. I feel very energized doing it, because I don't do it much. But man, I feel great. I haven't trained in a while, so. I f yeah, I do. Like, like my energy <laughs> levels are actually up. That's how I know I've had a good training session. That's the weird thing with me. If 
I feel satisfied, I feel like it's great for the day. As I was saying, we really need to establish like some form of community in Australia. Dylan's more on the comedic side, so it's really good to kind of bring people from different niches together. Because man, there's no fucking community in Australia. There's no. none. There's none. No. And it's it's sad. Like you need that kind of American culture here, which is the goal. But yeah, I guess we'll wrap up the video there. I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you all learned something. If you want me to keep filming these videos, let me know. Share it around, man. And it just keeps me motivated to keep pumping them out. But I'll catch you in the next one.